With deduction questions, we get a series of statements and then need to answer a question based on the statements. Let's look at an example. We are given the following statements. Bobby and Tina are engaged, but not to each other. Myrtle and Sam are married to each other. Sam, Clarissa and Bobby eat tuna off plates. Myrtle and Tina eat tuna from the can. And then asked, who is married and eats tuna from the can? Our answer choices are Bobby, Sam, Clarissa, Tina or Myrtle. Let's work through each of the answers in turn and see which one is correct. We are looking for the person who is both married and also eats tuna from the can. So we need to check which of the answer choices meets both those requirements and not just one of them. Starting with Bobby, we can see that he is engaged from the first statement and eats tuna off a plate, so it can't be him. Sam is married, so meets the first part of the required criteria. However, he also eats tuna off plates, so that rules out Sam as well. Clarissa is only mentioned once where it says she eats tuna off plates, so it can't be her. We can see that Tina fulfills the second part of the question by eating tuna from the can. However, she doesn't match the part of the question of being married. Finally, we come to Myrtle, who is indeed married and also eats tuna from the can. Answer E is therefore the correct answer. Now there is often a slightly quicker way to do these questions rather than going through all the answer choices. If we look at the question, we have established that there are two parts to it. We are looking for someone who is firstly married and secondly eats tuna from the can. By looking at the statements, we can therefore immediately narrow down the answer. For example, the statement that says Myrtle and Sam are married to each other means that we can narrow down our answer choices to just two. We can then look at both of these and see which one matches the second part of the question. We therefore come to Myrtle much faster than if we had to go through all the answer choices. So, when tackling these questions, use the statements to immediately narrow down your answer choices. Secondly, test these answer choices to ensure that you select the one that meets all the requirements of the question.